Okay, I um, was on the water and um, never had a problem. Um, but I think this may be my problem um, in my last outing. Basically, in my last outing, I was able to start the motor and went out into the bay, ocean. Um, but um, after I shut off the engine twice, drifted for fishing, and then I tried to start it again for the third time on my last outing on the ocean in the bay, I couldn't start the motor even though the motor was already warm but I just couldn't start it so I had to call the tow boat to tow me back into the dock in any case I think this may be the culprit because um, as you can see here I checked the compression already by the way so it's 120 psi so it's good I know the compression is good so as you can see this um, fuse is actually too big for this hole here you know so anyhow so I you know stick it in there okay I stick it in there and I try to you know press it down and as you can see the hose the fuse is gonna rest like this you can't push any further because this fuse is actually the wrong size um, but I got this fuse um, when I bought the motor and it rained um, no problem for um, the whole month of August and the whole month of July and uh, October was okay too until the last outing and it was two weeks ago I was on the water and you know anyhow so this power pack looks new to me so I'm gonna replace this power pack and, um, actually no I'm not gonna I'm just gonna see what this fuse is doing is this fuse going to the power pack that feeds the power pack and because uh, the connection um, on this thing is so rusted and that's why it's not powering up in any case I'm gonna try to um, um, open this power pack so I can get to the uh, the red one okay, so I think as I trace the one red wire this red wire actually go back to this big uh, this big um, plug which connects to the um, ignition the key ignition ignition as you can see it's you know this this red this red wire just you know it was all tied together it was all tied together and it's actually going um, it's actually going One of them is actually here. I don't know what this is. Um, you know, I think this may be the plug. It was actually tied, so it's not. It won't be used in any case. But this one, I think it's used, and I think it's feeding into the power pack. That's why I'm gonna uh, remove this. Um, um, so I can see exactly where this fuse is going. My guess is it's going into the power pack, but I can't tell because it's hidden behind this power pack here. That's why I'm hoping I can, um, you know, open this power pack and see the wire behind it. Okay, I disconnected the power pack. Okay, it's a CB4. 5A2125 and P722. Anyway, it was here. Now I can see the um, this red thing. Looks like it goes from here and then into this thick black thing. Everything tied together. And this is the receiving end um, of the key switch. Looks like that fuse was going like this. And um, it's going so it it comes out from the key switch and then um, come to here through the fuse and then travel back to here to this to this um, knot here and uh, this knot is connected uh, in in red um, which 
um, goes in to I connected it to this guy here and gosh this big thick guy is I guess going back to the switch too um, I'm not sure about what this is but in any case that's the fuel fuel pump by the way and I don't know if this going this way is going to make a difference or this way it's going to make a difference but you know this it, right now it's sitting like this I think this is the um, primer valve meaning um, the primer uh, primer valve for the fuse to go in so there's a possibility that this thing is is, is not is, is not working either um, but uh, for you guys uh, tell me whether it should go this way or it should go that way I think um, I think when this thing is over here it's totally open for the primer valve to let the fuse uh, for the for the primer valve for the uh, pump this is the fuel pump I think this fuel pump when I when I have the switch this way then it's totally open for the uh, primer fuse so when I prime the key switch the uh, fuel the oil the gasoline is going to be able to uh, travel uh, from the fuse line down below into the carburetor and then feeds into the engine and then the motor will run um, it was set in this position which is half open half close when I turn this thing all the way to here I believe it is closed there won't be any oil gasoline uh, go into the um, carburetor which is down here so in any case this is the uh, fuel primer valve which is set over here which is half open I don't know why it's not all the way to here um, to let it all the way uh, open I think I'm gonna um, you know open this up a little bit um, hopefully it will help my cold start uh, instead of half open here okay let me know if I did it right or if I didn't do it right. But anyway, I think I think I'm gonna keep it here to make leather open. Now come back to this one. I believe I need a fuse here, okay? Because it feeds into it feeds into here and then go back to here and then feeds into this guy here. But in the meantime, um, there is also this these two um, pink color that. Uh, feeds from here um, you know through a different um, point um, from the receiver going to this um, red wire and then connect to this knot as well um, not sure what this pump is or this this thing is maybe it's a regulator voltage uh, regulator maybe uh, something else not sure but uh, in any case um, I think it's uh, working uh, not sure why uh, it won't start but you know what in any case I'm going to try to um, uh, put this back in okay and um, see if I can restart the motor again um, and then of course hook up the switch here okay? but in any case for those of you who know I think um, this is the fuse for the starter um, Without this, my starter could burn, um, and I believe this is a 20 amps um, instead of an amp. I instead of a fuse to the power pack. I don't think uh, this is the fuse to the power pack. I think this is the fuse to the starter because the way it's connecting it to here, to this guy here, and um, uh, to this guy here, um, and then this guy will. Uh, 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 pass the positive all the way to the to the bottom here, which is the starter, and the negative of the starter wire is down below there, I think. Um, 
in any case, I think that's, that's how it's working. That's how, uh, so this is the positive. And the starter negative is probably somewhere down below there, in there. That's connecting to the um, You know, so I think that's what it is. In any case, I'm going to put the um, this this power pack back on and uh, try to put the that oversized fuse back in here and then see if I can start the motor. Now for this thing, um, it came uh, not connected, so I don't think this thing is for anything. This may be for the, this may be for the, what do you call that? The oil injection pump, uh, this thing here. But because uh, I pre-mixed the oil, so I don't need this plug anymore. You know, because as you can see, uh, oh, actually, it's the tilt, it's the tilt, uh, it's the tilt. So, this is the tilt from the key switch. Look, because it has the, it has the green wire. I think the middle one is the blue wire pink wire you know that's why my my um, my um, I can't control I can't control the t the tilt from my remote because this thing is not uh, is, is not working because this thing is not plugged in but uh, where is this supposed to be plugged in I don't even know uh, it came just like this um, for the power tilt. Oh, I don't even know. In any case, I don't so much care because I just hardwire the uh, power tilt um, to operate the motor that way. This one is the blue wire, uh, green wire, and then I think that's a black, uh, yellow wire maybe for kill switch um, and there are two yellow wires here and two black wires here and come over to here you got the uh, gray and gray and yellow and here it's the blue um, These probably the co these are probably the coil, you know the coil. Because 